Hey everyone, it's Sarada and I scribble and today it's full-on voiceover but it's also Inktober day 23 and I've decided that for these last few days I'm just gonna do whatever I want. I'm gonna try and repeat some of my favorite techniques or uh, things I found fun to do during Inktober. So that is what I have planned. This one, I think I saw a picture of someone who had, someone had drawn a uh, a dress with constellations on it and I was like yes I want to do that too so I drew a nice lady with a dress on so I could do that and I inked it using the dip pen I um, I really like using the dip pen on the watercolor paper it works really nicely with it and I also went ahead and used both gold ink and the pearlescent shimmer on this one. I, I went absolutely bonkers. But it's so pretty! It turned out so nice! <laughs> so that is what I did. It's just a really simple drawing too. I got a... The thing is, I got a late start today as well, but I slept for way too long again. My hours are completely wonked out. Oh yeah, look at this. Look, I, I couldn't help but keep this clip real time because just watching the ink spread, it's so cool. Uh, what you can see and what I cut out was that I covered this space in water entirely before dropping in the ink. That's why you can see it spreading like it's doing here. And then I went in with the brush and sort of moved it around and uh, made it darker in a few places. Uh, uh, for the bodice, it didn't turn out as nicely because I got a lot of ink um, dipped down on it, so I didn't get the same kind of spread. Tried to shade the hair, but the wash wasn't dark enough, so I made a darker wash and went in with that instead. Um, and uh, yeah, just darkened up, created some shadows and textures. I left her skin entirely white. Oh, and here I went in with the shimmer on her hair, the liquid pearls, the, what's it called, dimensional pearlescent paint. And uh, I let that dry and then I realized I had watered down the shimmer too much, so I did a second layer. I added some gold accents, just some jewelry. Um, the gold isn't as shimmery though so you can't really see it and here the picture blows out completely i don't know why i added some constellations on her dress i decided on three um the first one you saw was andromeda and this one is cassiopeia and then that one is the big or little dipper whichever you want to call it uh, and then i used the jelly roll to uh, connect them i splattered some very diluted shimmer onto the dress and then I went in with the jelly roll again and added more defined stars. Um, I really like how that turned out because when um, when the pearlescent paint dries, it gets sort of transparent, so you can't really see it unless you angle it to the light. Relined her hair because the pearlescent paint sort of dulled down the ink and uh, made it look kind of weird. Uh, and then I highlighted her hair using the gel pen, but I didn't do full highlights. I just did a lot of dots so it would look sparkly, and I think it worked really well. You can see the pan of the drawing a little more close up. And here you can see the full of Her hair turned out so silvery, like, oh my goodness. And here you can see the sparkles on the dress too. Uh, the thing is, the India ink is also a bit reflective. The more concentrated it is, the more uh, reflective it gets. So you get kind of an effect on that too. Here it is, scanned and slightly more cleaned up. This was day 23, and I thank you so much for watching. Until tomorrow, bye!